first morning after departing for the trip and we are at a hotel in Alamogordo, New Mexico. We found a Motel 6, which cost us $39.99 plus tax. And it's, it was an excellent deal. It's really cheap for a hotel. Um, here's the dog. He's already been for his walk this morning. It's about 6, a little after 6 o'clock, local time. We probably got up about quarter to five this morning. Our time is a little off. New Mexico is an hour behind Texas time. Dave waved to the camera. <laughs> Just all of our mess here we're showing uh, for our setup. We got here last night, it was after dark, and Dave, he cooked us some food. So we got all of our cooking stuff back here. And I am about to start packing everything up. So, but I thought that I'd show y'all before I do that, kind of what it looks like um, when we're, we've got our mess all thrown around the room. So this morning we are going to go to the White Sands National Monument, which is about 15 miles, a little less than 15 miles from where we are right at this moment. And um, hopefully we get there fairly early and get some really cool video and also some pictures. We're at the Walmart in Alamogordo. It looks like there's a camper van over there, some boondockers. Uh, some sort of Our RV is on the left. and almost a no one here my favorite time to come to Walmart <laughs> Dave went inside a gas station where we are at to get himself a coffee because his two cups of coffee in the hotel room from his green roasted beans was not enough caffeine apparently um, so I thought I would show you the inside of our car and I know I talk a lot about minimalism and minimal travel and this is definitely not super minimal travel, I guess, because we bring our food and cooking materials with us. And in the back seat back here, besides Tuff, the dog, everything is food. We've got a cooler, uh, the two, two Rubbermaid totes that are over here also have food and cooking supplies in them. So if it weren't for the fact that we were cooking, uh, on the road and we were if we ate at restaurants uh, fast food whatever then we wouldn't have to have that those things so this is just better for us it's just a healthier way to travel you feel a lot better whenever you can eat good food well we made it to the white soon white soons what the heck am I saying white dunes national monument and uh, we're just gonna go all the way to the end of the road and then get out. Take our time looking around, exploring. It's pretty cool looking. That grip black and that bag. Dave's gotta get his coat out because our coats. I'd like mine too. My outer jacket. Because it is chilly here. It's probably 30 something degrees this morning.
I are at the White Sands National Monument. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a lot of sand. <laughs> Dave's over behind me working on a video that he's putting on his channel. And I am just walking around enjoying this very unique environment. Sound really carries well. There's people, I can't even see them. They're over on the other side of those dunes. I can hear them and their dog barking. Pretty cool place. Glad we came. Dave and I were just discussing. We walked out into the dunes a little ways and uh, we kind of got away from our car. We weren't lost, but we just uh, couldn't know exactly where it was that we parked. And I guess in 2014, I read a news story that some French people were over here, I think with their kid. It was like a man and a woman and their young child. And they were here during the summertime and they walked out into the dunes and I guess got lost. Didn't have water or not enough. It was like 101 degrees or over 100 degrees. And they died. <laughs> they found the mom dead and then they started looking for the dad and the kid. And they found them together. The dad was dead. The kid was the only one who survived. So it can definitely be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention and being careful. This is the visitor center for the White Sands National Monument. as well. 